The other one was that we had no um, we had no restrictions as far as there was no curriculum committee influence on this. This was not a course that was going to be offered for credit. We knew it was more of a resource for people. So um, we didn't have to go through the curriculum process. And not having to go through the curriculum process was uh, probably one of the more important things that happened um, in this design. Because what, what our faculty were doing is they were looking at what do students need. You know, they had a real goal, you know, a real um, specific goal. And they were just looking at what, you know, um, what do students need, not filling a three-unit or a four-unit box. Mm -hmm. You know, um, when you have to fill a box, <laughs> you know, a, a unit structure, and you have to fill that. You're thinking, okay, i got to have enough stuff to make it this many hours to have this much work. You know, I'm going to make sure that my objectives fit the four units box and they didn't have to do that you know it, it wasn't about that it was what do they need how long does it take you know what's the best way to get them to actually learn what we want them to learn mm -hmm. and so that was very freeing for the instructors you know it really they felt like they had a lot of freedom in being able to design this class in the way they wanted and they they just jumped into it with a lot of enthusiasm as a result so that was, you know, that was a big piece. And then the actual design of the course is, I looked through a lot of um, Coursera courses that they gave me access to the courses so I could look at them to find a design that, I, that we could use and to also get an idea of how the platform worked. And I only found a couple that I really liked. Most of the courses were video lecture based and, and really that's how it started, right? Put the lectures online. Mm -hmm. Let's put the lectures from the best professors online and put those out there to the world. That's how this, you know, idea at Coursera, anyway, got started. And so the courses were all video lecture. They were, you know, you, you, you went to the video lectures, you, you looked at the lecture, and then you took a test or, you know, did, did a discussion or something else, and then that was it. And that's not how we teach online in California in the community college. It's not how we do it. Um, there has to be contact with the instructor. That's by law for distance ed, and it's federal, actually. Um, interaction with the instructor is a federal requirement. Um, and I didn't see that in those courses, not much. And I completely understand when you have 50,000 people in a class, you know, how are you going to interact with them? 